Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. It's no secret that agriculture made ancient humans weaker. When we look at the skeletons of human beings before agriculture, the bone density is just so much stronger, and bone density of hunter-gatherers today are in general thicker than our uh, bones who live in cities. Uh, the link to a couple studies on this is going to be below. Um, there seems to be two sides uh, to the explanation of how and why this happened. First of all, our activity levels have gone down considerably since we began uh, living much more sedentary lifestyles, and this happened with agriculture too. Uh, yes, we were working in the field still, but it was much less demanding than going out, walking all day, and hunting and carrying hundreds of pounds of meat on your back. So these types of things, researchers noticed that the decrease in bone density was greater in the lower body than in the upper body. So that is pretty simple. The less we use our legs, the weaker our leg bones get. And this would happen to us even just now in one lifetime. The other theory about this is that it's a case of rapid evolution, or devolution we could call it. Uh, the density of 7,000 year old nomadic people's bones were 20% uh, higher than civilized farmers from uh, 7,000 years ago. So. If you compare that to just uh, 700 years ago, it's even tougher. And if you go back 150,000 years, the skeletons that they've studied then, they're like supermen. The bones were so much denser than even it was 7,000 years ago. Now, the interesting thing is evolution usually does not bring a change uh, that fast. I know sometimes it seems like a long time for us, 7,000 years, um, but to lose 20% of your bone density in that time, that is really, really a lot, and evolution usually does not happen that quickly. So if you ask me, the explanation is probably a combination of both theories. Um, humans, you know, use their bodies less, and they get lower bone density and they also have a more poor diet over thousands of years and that makes uh, them weaker and their bones uh, less dense. I don't want weak bones. I would rather be like our beastly ancestors 150,000 years ago. You know, have you ever, you guys ever heard about these stories uh, about the humans with these unbreakable bones, so they call it, they never break, and when doctors need to do surgery on them, uh, they can't even screw into the bone because it's so tough, they call it osteopetrosis. This is what our ancient, ancient ancestors would have been like. <laughs> you know, of course, these things are a little bit genetic, and we are removed from them by thousands of years, but it's still there in our DNA. We can still achieve this really high uh, bone density and have a strong skeletal structure. And the answer is simple. Use your body more like they did and eat a similar diet that they did. It may not fix us in our lifetime, but over a couple generations, I think we can go back to that.